Once upon a time, a secluded sanctuary adorned a remote peak, emanating an aura of tranquility and serenity. Within its sacred walls, a venerable Buddhist sage shared profound teachings with his devoted disciples. One day, a young follower approached him, a hint of worry in his voice, Respected Master, my mind feels like a turbulent sea, inundated with countless thoughts, many of them negative. My thoughts flit from one to another, beyond my control. Despite my efforts, inner calm remains elusive. Master, please guide me on how to quiet my mind and liberate myself from these thoughts. The wise master, with a gentle smile and a soft tone, responded, Dear disciple, I understand your concern. An abundance of thoughts is natural and happens to everyone. It is the nature of the mind to act like a whirlpool, pulling us from one thought to another ceaselessly. To find tranquility, embark on daily meditation. With practice, your mind will gradually find repose. The disciple replied, Master, I have attempted daily meditation. Yet, in the forest, distractions invade my thoughts, plunging me into the same negative patterns. Might you grant me a mantra to aid in calming my mind? The master reassured him, Do not fret, dear one. Many face such challenges when beginning meditation. To assist you, I shall bestow upon you a potent mantra to recite during your practice. In hushed tones, the master whispered the powerful mantra to the disciple. Filled with gratitude, the disciple vowed, Thank you profoundly, master. I shall repeat the mantra in my daily meditations. Before departing, the master added, While reciting the mantra, remember never to think of monkeys. Think of anything but monkeys. Their thoughts shall hinder the mantra's efficacy. Confused, the disciple asked, But master, why would I think of monkeys? Do not worry, the master replied, simply heed my counsel and refrain from thoughts of monkeys. With heartfelt appreciation for the master's guidance, the disciple eagerly set forth to practice the mantra. That very afternoon, amidst the forest's tranquility, he commenced the meditation, chanting the mantra diligently. Moments later, the master's caution echoed in his mind, recite the mantra, but banish thoughts of monkeys. Unintentionally, Images of monkeys swarmed his consciousness. He exerted great effort to dismiss the thoughts, yet they persisted, clamoring for attention. Puzzled, the disciple struggled to empty his mind, but to no avail. The more he tried, the more monkeys danced before his eyes. Weary and confounded, he finally relented, conceding defeat and calming his mind. He abandoned meditation for the day and returned to the sanctuary. However, even during his journey back, Monkeys monopolized his thoughts, a relentless presence. Exhausted, the disciple sought solace in sleep, only to be greeted by the monkeys' relentless imagery. Despite his efforts to dismiss them, they multiplied, engrossing his mind. Hours passed until weariness overcame him, granting respite and slumber. The following morning, the disciple, still perplexed and somewhat vexed, approached the master to relay his plight. Respected master, he began, I had never thought of monkeys during meditation before, but since starting the mantra, they consume my thoughts entirely. The situation seems hopeless. With an affectionate smile, the master answered, let me explain the nature of the mind. It is a potent force, generating myriad thoughts each day. Without control, it behaves akin to a restless monkey, leaping from one branch to another. The mind flits ceaselessly, striving to capture our attention and generate new thoughts effortlessly. However, to consciously attend to these thoughts demands considerable effort. The crux of the issue lies not in the abundance of thoughts but in the types of thoughts that captivate us. During meditation or daily life, negative thoughts often prevail, rekindling past adversities and birthing unfavorable futures. To remedy this, we must consciously manage our attention and direct it towards other thoughts. When negativity beckons, we decide whether to succumb to it or not. Though seemingly intricate, the process is simpler than it appears. During meditation, when your mind leaps like a wild monkey, pause, and say, I see your enticement, but now focus on my breath. Attend to each breath, inhale and exhale, anchoring yourself in the present moment. The monkey will seemingly subside, but know that its stillness is transient, as it cannot remain calm for long. After a few breaths, the monkey will seek to distract you again conjuring new thoughts to seize your attention. When this occurs, fret not, it is entirely natural. Gently return to the present moment, concentrating on your breath as many times as necessary. 
Remember, taming the monkey takes perseverance. With each practice, your focus strengthens, enabling you to gain control for longer durations. The disciple grasped the master's teachings and resolved to persist, learning to quiet his mind and steer his thoughts. In time, he achieved a profound sense of serenity and inner peace, and the monkeys ceased their relentless visitations. And so, dear listeners, we glean that the mind, akin to a restless monkey, can find tranquility and inner peace through meditation and mindful control of thoughts. When the mind bounds from branch to branch, take a deep breath and immerse yourself in the present, focusing on each breath. In your hands lies the power to tame the restless monkey within. If you think this has taken your time, you can understand a little bit more with Seneca. Click on the video on the screen and see how you can improve your time. If you liked the video, like and subscribe for more wisdom in this modernity.